Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are gonna go through Underredum Hideout Mastery Challenges. All three of them, the bear, the wolf and the raven and how to get gold. I will give my best tips and trying to guide you through these challenges so you can also get the gold and get everything from Hildebrand shop. All three new weapons and the Valkyrie's armor and yes, you are gonna need Everything golden if you want every weapon, every armor piece from Hildebrand's shop. Without further talking, let's dive into it. So the first one, it is gonna be the bear one. For this one, we are gonna need parries and poison kills. Our weapon has a chance to drop a poison cloud. So that is really useful, so keep parrying even if you have already completed the parry part of this challenge. So, let's see how this will roll out and how this will end up. Also, if you are here for, for example, wolf or raven challenge, there is a timestamps in the video, so you can easily find the challenge for you. By the way, if you think this method is too slow for you, you can take the risk and hit the enemies once or twice with the light attacks in order to drop their health, but be aware. Accidental double tap or finisher has a chance of killing your enemies. Also, occasional crits, those can be fatal for your gold medals. So, be aware of that one. Easy now. Something's not right. What? Cut you down! With me, brother! Quick note, if you want to play safe and take the parries already out of the way, so there is only two things to focus on, the poison kills and killing the guards in the process. Just wait until the stun effect has faded and parry once again. Of course, meaning the poison hasn't killed your enemies. Also, you can carry your enemies when they are dead, but still poisoned, throwing them, dropping them near the live enemies will actually poison the live ones. Also, if you can keep your enemies near the poisoned body, the poison will build up so fast and they will stay poisoned. And you can use the fresh body for the next cards. So hopefully this tip did help you. And now let's complete this challenge. Sinner! <laughs> <laughs> 
Need to be careful here. Easy now. Something's not right. We keep our wits about us. The bear challenge out of the way, it is time for the trial of the wolf. In this one, we are gonna need weak point hits, poison kills and eliminating all of the guards. So I highly recommend of making the weak spot hits first and after that making the poison kills. Also note that there is room for mistakes, so if you see an enemy with the marker with the marker about them yeah don't kill him first don't kill them first take the regular guys out and let's go Now we are gonna use my tip from the bear challenge, so let's take this guy on our shoulders and let's try to poison enemies with the dead body and let's see what happens. Huh? <gasps> 
Big mistake! With me, brother! the side. Feel stronger already. So, two gold out of three, so Trial of the Raven, it is gonna be the next one. I absolutely hated this one, but I think I figured out pretty perfect way of doing this. Also, I will play it safe in this one, so 
hopefully you don't mind of waiting. I just wanted to be sure that almost everybody can do this. So starting going midway on the stairs, whistling twice or once, then coming on the stairs up here behind the corner and again once or twice whistle. Then you can run, then you can easily get in the next section of this place without any troubles. Just like this, this works every time, just try it. Also I will give you notes, every time the challenge get trickier or little bit more challenging. Other than that just follow my lead and I really hope you are getting your goals really soon. Alright, there is couple of ways of doing this, just waiting until the Goliath keeps moving. Or if you want to play safe, I would say this is a good spot, but beware of the other enemy right over there and watch out on the Goliath's movements. You can easily come here, you might get spotted if the timing is wrong. I highly recommend of stealing the key while Goliath is walking, just like I am doing right here. And also you are gonna able to loot the chest without the troubles and keep moving from here to the next part of this challenge. Alright, this is the one of the trickiest part in my opinion. How to get the two chests without being detected. So the timing is key and what we want to do, we want to go to the other bush near the chest in order to loot it. After the looting and when the time is ripe, we are gonna go down from the other path that the other guard is taking into the bushes downstairs. From there we are gonna sneak our way to the other side of this area. Then just follow my movements, follow my lead and I'm sure after that you will be able to complete this challenge with 1000 out of 1000 score. At this part if anything in this video has helped you hitting the like would be much appreciated. So wolves let's do this.
and finally boom thousand out of thousand aka gold medal from all three challenges also huge shout out to my members the list is going on while i'm speaking for now wolfpack let's roll the outro thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live also vikings have fun stay safe be strong hope to see you in the next one skatha over and up and bye bye